Welcome back, this is Don and we're going to show you how to add any Commission Junction data feed to your new uh, data feed store. It's a pretty simple program. First thing you do is go to Commission Junction and set up your feeds. If you don't have any merchants there, go ahead and get set up uh, with some merchants. Go to their uh, Get Link section. Uh, best bet is to go by category. Find a category that uh, you want to have products for. Uh, and then click on that category and it'll give you a list of merchants that have uh, catalogs or data feeds with those products. So let's take a look at one here. Here's one that uh, does health and nutrition which is what this store is going to be about. Uh, they pay, looks like they pay a 15% commission which is pretty nice since you don't have to actually buy or sell anything or deliver anything. It's just a referral. 15% uh, is pretty good. Uh, if you want to join it, just click where it says join merchant. Uh, once you've joined a few, you'll see the status is active on the right hand side of the page which means you can go fetch your, uh, your data feed. So go to the accounts tab then click on settings and there's a little button there that allows you to set up your data, data feeds. So click on that button and let's set one up real quick. We're going to just name this My Data Feeds, I guess, something like that. The most important part of this is to make sure that you set the data feed settings as pipe. They have to be pipe settings or this won't work. That's the way the system's set for. So make sure that's set to pipe. And then you have three ways to get delivery of these data feeds. You can either FTP them yourself or you can have an automated FTP, which is what we're going to do right now, uh, where Commission Junction will actually load these, uh, these data feed files to your server. Uh, in the admin forward slash cj file or folder. You're going to want to make sure that folder if you use this system is set to accept outside uh, uploads which would be like 755 uh, for the ch mode. Pick which items you, which uh, merchants you want in your store and click the save button and those merchants will have their data feeds automatically uploaded throughout the day to your uh, your Commission Junction folder and admin. So let's log in and actually load some of these into the store now. And you can access your uh, Commission Junction uh, tool through either the Uploads tab or by clicking on their logo right there on the page. Uh, you've got a couple options, Browser Upload and you've got FTP Upload and down towards the bottom you have uh, further instructions on what we just showed you on how to get your feeds and process some things of that sort but let's just go ahead and upload one through your browser real quick click on the browser uh, and then log on to your hard drive wherever you have decided to save some uh, commission junction files data feeds and I went ahead and grabbed a whole bunch of them here uh, we're gonna do Adiago T which is a T store it kind of fits with the whole health and nutrition side. So press the submit button and now that product line is in your database and in your store. Let's do a search for let's say green tea. This was a tea company so let's see what they've got in the way of green tea. Wow. So we've got seven or eight products here. All different types of tea. And now let's click on the ginseng green tea. It actually creates a product page for each product and puts some suggested purchasing items uh, in the bottom of it. And you have a cloaked affiliate link here. By cloaked, I mean it won't interfere with your search engine rankings. Uh, that goes directly to the merchant. If someone wants to buy the tea, they just uh, press the button and, and, uh, and make a purchase and you get a nice commission. So let's go ahead and upload one using the FTP. The FTP folder uh, is great for larger files that won't really go up through your browser. If it's more than 10,000 items, you'll have trouble with your browser. So uh, let's go ahead and upload. Uh, there's see, there's a there's a vitamin store here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some vitamins into. So blue means put it in the store. Red means discard it. So let's find that and put it in the store. And bam, it's now in your store. Now you can go back click that link and add the rest of the items here. Let's just go see how this one looks. We're back at your store now. Let's do some vitamin A. That's a big seller. And bam, there you go, the vitamin A products. Now there are thousands and thousands of products in here. This is just pretty much search driven. That's why you're seeing the vitamin A. And let's go ahead and make one of these a featured product that way you'll know how to put the uh, featured products on the front of your page. Just copy the title. You're going to want to go back to uh, right here, copy your title. Go to the uh, tab for featured items. Cut and paste that into, you can have 10 of these. The first product is going to be this one. Save it. 
and there it is right on the front page of your store now go to the home page and there's your featured item so enjoy uh, remember you can upload uh, CJ and other data feed programs in here uh, just need to, to follow the instructions